with movie theaters still closed here in the state of Michigan, catching a flick has really kind of gone old school. Uh, back to the drive-in days and joining us right now on the Oakland County Megacast is Mike Odo with Movie Magic Lakeside. Mike, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. You know, someone like Tyler is so young, he probably doesn't even remember what a drive-in theater was. He probably doesn't. I mean, drive-in's been of the gone concept. for a long time. <laughs> the concept, right? So, uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about uh, Movie Magic Lakeside. Movie Magic Lakeside, um, <clears throat> we're, we're a, a two-screen drive-in movie theater. We're at uh, Lakeside Mall, which is on uh, M59 um, between Shaner and Hayes Road in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Um, it, it's, uh, it's really centrally located. Uh, it's easy to get to. Um, within probably 35 minute drive, you got about one and a half million people that surround this mall. Um, this, there's a, uh, uh, an area around Sears. Obviously these malls have, have, have been hurting. The traditional malls have been hurting. And, and, and the air at Sears has obviously gone out, as most people know. And uh, the area around Sears, we've redeveloped into a, a two-screen drive-in movie theater capable of uh, more than uh, 550 cars total uh, at one time. So right now, we're, we, we just opened up uh, about four weeks ago. And we're showing our Christmas series. It's a Christmas spectacular. You can come on out and... Uh, Santa Claus is there. Santa's waving to you. It's all in a COVID-friendly environment. Obviously, obviously, the drive-in movie theaters are are, are perfect for this time. Um, during the COVID, we have larger spaces than normal. Uh, normal space is nine feet wide. Ours are twelve feet wide. Uh, normal space is eighteen feet long. Ours are twenty feet long. So you have a bigger space around you. Um, you don't even have to get out of your car if you don't want to. Uh, we we do have concessions and restrooms where you have to get out and wear a mask. Um, but other than that, um, you know, you can just stay in the comfort of your car, watch a movie. Like I said, Santa's there. Santa goes and walks around in the parking lot. You know, e e even the Santa Clauses, I have a, 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 you know, it's affected even the Santa Clauses COVID has. You know, people, people we look at all these industries that it's affected, even Santa. I mean, the, the Santa Clauses, um, aren't even working like, 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 like normal at the malls and things like that. Although Lakeside has one, most of the Santas aren't even working. So, you know, we have one, he, he's there, he, he waves, he, he gives the kids a good experience. In addition to seeing them live, we also have them up on the big screen. So when you go to our website at moviemagiclakeside.com, you can put in a message to Santa Claus. So, you know, little Johnny wants a train set. Well, probably not. I'm old. So little Johnny probably wants a new video game. So little Johnny wants a new video game, right? And so it goes up on the screen prior to the movie and everybody sees it. And we got Santa delivers a message prior to the movie. So it's a real interactive type drive-in at this moment with the Christmas uh, theme that we have going on right now and through the 23rd. Um, beyond that, we're going to become you know, almost a regular drive-in theater, you know, Christmas day, you know, we're, 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 we're pushing to play the new wonder woman's coming out. Wonder woman, 1984, um, is coming out on Christmas day. So we're, we're hoping to have that up, uh, for the people, um, as that's the only new movie, uh, with any substance that Hollywood has released, uh, since, since the pandemic started. I mean, they pushed all their movies back to 2021, and actually Wonder Woman uh, originally was supposed to be scheduled for earlier this year. They had pushed it back to 21 and now they brought it back to Christmas day. So it's the first real movie with substance. There's been a couple other little movies released, but not much. And most of them have been released on the streaming services and everything else. Uh, this is the first real blockbuster uh, that that's being released since the pandemic. And uh, that'll, that'll be going on Christmas day. So with this, uh, how does it work with the audio? Is it piped in through the speakers in your car? Because I'm sure you it's not like the old drive-in where you had the speaker and you put it on the window. No, that was fun though, wasn't it? So, so, <laughs> the audio so, was always terrible though. <laughs> it was bad, it was bad. 
No, this is this is obviously the new technology where when you come in when you come into the theater again we have two theaters so when you come in depending on which theater you go to um, you're going to get a, a radio station to to turn your radio to so for instance in one of the theaters you'd be turning to a 91.3 so you turn your radio to 91.3 and and the uh, audio comes into your car so it comes right into your car through an FM transmitter um, so it's it's you know you you can keep keep warm keep dry nothing 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 hanging out your window and uh audio audio's uh, much much improved from the old days yeah because the cars today i mean look at the audio systems in some of these cars yeah. I mean, you know they have yeah. both stereo uh speakers and everything yeah. in cars now so it's a really good it's a really good experience and the screens are large they're 60 feet wide 40 feet high so they're they're really large. Um, so so it's really it's really it's really a great experience. We we've had nothing but uh, compliments since we've been open. So uh, I encourage everybody to go to moviemagiclakeside.com and 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 get out. Get get you know and everybody's got got to get out a little bit. Get your kids out. I mean it, it, this is you know as bad as the pandemic has been for me and you. Okay, the youth has really sucked. I mean, the, the youth, the youth is, 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 needs to be going. They, they need to be developing. They need to get out of the house. I got two 14 year olds in here right now and uh, it, it's been terrible for them. I mean, I, I just feel so bad. I mean, they, they, they need to develop and, and it's almost like they, we put a stop on them. So we need to get the kids out, let them enjoy Christmas a little bit. There's, there's not a whole lot to do out there, but this is something that we threw out there you know, for, for, it's for everybody. I mean, we have movies for everybody, but it, but it's certainly right now during the Christmas season geared, geared towards the kids and the families. And, uh, you know, they, they need something, get them out of the house and, and, and go see a movie with them. It's, it's totally safe and, and enjoy yourself. So Mike, how is that working? Um, are the screens permanent fixtures? Will this stick around post pandemic? Yes, it's going to stick around post pandemic. Um, the, these screens are, uh, it's actually unique. The, the screens are built on uh, shipping containers and we stack up shipping containers and then we, we, we apply the screen uh, to the outside of the shipping containers. Um, Lakeside Mall is, is, a, is a mall that's uh, going to be uh, redeveloped. They were bought by a, a venture capital company out of Florida, uh, uh, out of the box ventures they're called. And um, they are going to be redeveloping that mall at some point in the future. Um, but, you know, at that time, we are going to, uh, I don't know what happened with that? At that time, you lost me for a second. At, at that time, we're going to be uh, probably maybe just moving a spot over in, inside the parking lot. But right now, we're comfortable we're going to be there for, for several years. So with that, um, do you anticipate, though, once the movie theaters do reopen, people are going to go back to the theater? Or do you think drive through is catching on? This is going to stay here for quite some time. Yeah, that's why we're, you know, from a business standpoint, we're, we're, we're looking at, you know, sticking around over there for, for years. We, we believe that, uh, you know, uh, COVID, 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 COVID hit everybody hard. It's, it's hit everybody. Uh, you know, it's going to take time. I mean, so many people are so, I don't mean, it's COVID has not only kept you home, it's, it's kept you home when you shouldn't be home. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost instilled a little laziness in us and, and it's going to take time to, 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 to dust off the cobwebs and get everybody back to where they used to be. Can you imagine? I mean, we're, we're a week away from Christmas. I mean, the hustle and bustle that normally is, is around at this time is nowhere near that. Um, you know, I'm being with the drive in out late and stuff like that. You know, it, it, there's, there's no cars on the road. I mean, and you're a week before Christmas. I mean, it, it used to be hustle and bustle. People forget real quick. So yeah, I believe drive-ins not only are going to be around from that aspect, but just from the aspect of, introducing it to a new generation and 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 everything else i i think it's definitely going to be around for for at least another five years so i know that uh, you said that you do offer concessions but since you're in your own car it's okay to sneak in the food right well it's 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 legal at this point um for us 
most drive-ins discourage that. Um, the reason being is the movie theater business model is uh, you make your money on concessions. Right. Unfortunately, Hollywood thinks they deserve all, all, all those dollars for to, to, to make a couple hour movie. So, so an actor, actress getting $20 million for a movie, you know, Hollywood takes most of the money. Okay. From a, from a motion picture. So, the, the movie theaters, that's why when you go to an indoor theater, okay, that's why you, you, you're being charged, you know, $9 for a popcorn. Okay, that, that's the reason is because Hollywood's taking like 75% of the entrance fee. So they have to make it on the concessions. Now, our concessions are reasonable, okay, and, and, and we're, we're, uh, we're trying to do it a little bit differently. We're, we're trying to do it a, a lot differently. But, but most drive-in theaters today discourage people from being in as a matter of fact they charge them if they're going to bring in their own food we don't do that at this point we want people to come out and enjoy it and uh bring their families and if you if you have to bring your own food so be it but we encourage you to buy something from us if you can't afford it because that's that's basically how we make our money too so um mike just another minute uh with you here on the oakland county mega cask uh, tell us uh what's the cost for this the cost is very reasonable. We, we charge uh, $25 per car load. Um, and that car load or truck load means how, as many people as you can put legally in a vehicle. So if you have a seat belt for the, for the individual, then that's legal. Can you pack them in the trunk like we used to do in the old <laughs> days and things like that? No, 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 no. We can't, we can't do that anymore. So you got to have a seat belt. But some of these vehicles, you know, carry carry seven passengers. So, you know, you got a bunch of kids. You got you got four kids and two parents. I mean, you you know, that's a heck of a value to come and, and, and watch the movie for twenty five bucks total. So, that's that's where we're at with that. Okay, Mike Odo on the Oakland County Mega Cast with us. He is with Movie Magic Lakeside. What time uh, do the movies start at night? Okay, so right now, currently, our, our Christmas Spectacular, which, uh, uh, <clears throat> again, is more than a movie. I mean, you're getting, and, and, and for the $25, you're getting the Santa message. You're getting Santa live. Um, you, 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 we start the movies early. We have three shows per night. It starts at uh, roughly 520. Uh, starts to get dark real early now. So it starts at 520, then the next one starts around the 740 range, and then the last one uh, will be showing around around 9 40. well great uh, glad that you uh came up with this it's like what was hip back in the day is cool well, once again it's funny because you know i had this i was going to put up a drive-in before covid last year year before i had the idea I was talking to them all about it and uh put it in the drawer kind of like eh, you know kind of like we thought drive-ins eh, i don't know you know they're not really popular anymore, you know, but I was like, yeah, I think that people would like them. So I had it on the, on the drawing board, went through some, some, a uh, couple proposals with them all, put it in the drawer. When my COVID hit in March, I got, I'm like an idea guy. I got a lot of ideas always. And, and, and my kids, they crack up and, and, and I got twin 14 year olds and we're driving down the road. And this was like March when COVID first hit. And my daughter looks at me, and she's in the back seat and she goes, Dad, this would be a good time for you to pull out that driving idea. And I went, Oh my gosh, I almost hit the brake so hard. <laughs> and from then on I started working on it and we 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 opened it up four weeks ago. So I credit the 14 year old for now. Well, there you go. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Uh it's great to bring it back, but also after this pandemic as well. It's a, a good way to enjoy a movie. It is. Um, it's great. It's great fun. Great fun. Well, thank you again for being with us. Movie Magic Lakeside. Check them out. Go to the drive-in theater like the good old days. Introduce the kids to what is old and new and cool again. Mike Odo with us. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me.